Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 30th video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will improve our admin panel. Okay, so we will improve our admin panel with the help of Django Jet package. Okay, I'm thankful to the subscribers who suggested me this uh, uh, this package to for the admin. And I'm also thankful to all the developers who are making this uh, making this magical package for the developer community, development community, Django community. Okay, so I'm very thankful. So now let's let's uh, create the admin you improved admin UI with the help of this package, and we will see how to do that. So first of all, we need to install this package. So what we will do? Pip install install Django jet reboot okay here i want to tell you if you follow this documentation they are not providing this thing they are not providing django jet reboot they are just providing django jet okay but we need to in but we need to install the django jet reboot because we are using uh, python uh, we are using python greater than 3 and we are also using django greater than 3 so that we need to use this Django Jet reboot. Okay, so it will do the same things. You can follow this documentation, but here this what this package will do. This package will make the compatibility uh, with the Django version three. Okay, so that uh, uh, so that developers creating this uh, this package. Uh, one uh, one more package is the same as this. You can see you can uh, search Django three Jet. Okay, so here you can see Django 3 Jet. That will do the same thing. Okay, he here. So this will do the same thing that Django Jet Reboot is doing. Okay, so let's install this. I have already installed that, but you can, with the help of this command, you can install that. Okay, so after installing that, what we will do, we will open our project level settings and urls file so here we will open that and before the admin before the admin we will add the url here jet and this include will goes to here and we will add jet.urls okay and in the settings.py file what we will do before the admin we should remember this before the admin we need to add this package jet okay just these two things and we are done oh not we are done we need to implement one more thing so here we will go py manage dot py migrate and we will migrate this package okay so this will install the jet migrations so here you can see that something is uh, something is wrong uh, it is uh, it is saying the giving me the warning for something is wrong but uh, we can ignore this so here you can see that that migration has been created and we can run the server so manage.py run server okay So server is running. Now we will go to the admin panel here and you can see that how magical is this. You can see that the ad Django UI admin UI is totally changed. Here you can see that. Okay. So here you can see that we have our things. We have our lots of things. We can customize this. We will do the step by step things. Okay. In the upcoming videos. I will add something then I will add something so that we, we will Im, Im, so we will complete this package we will see how we can do that there are lots of things in this package we can filter with the Ajax we can uh, implement uh, the dashboards and lots of things we will do okay so here we have installed the jet package and we have added for the admin so these three things we need to remember the first thing you have to change in the settings.py and the second thing we have to add the jet in the uh, in the urls and the third is we have to migrate the jet package okay now 
we will go for the dashboard so here we have a dashboard this will create the beautiful dashboard when we, we will log into the admin then it will show the dashboard okay so we will see uh, what it will give if we apply the dashboard things so <clears throat> Uh, let's go to do this so what we will do here we have already installed the jet package now we will go to the settings and before the jet package we will add jet dot dashboard okay and in the urls file what we will do i will copy this and here i will add dashboard and after that here i will add dashboard dot urls and we have to align the name so i will name it here jet dashboard okay so same thing is given here you can see the documentation jet dashboard and here we have a url that we are including this okay and after that we have to migrate this okay so we will copy this you can copy this or you can type this whatever according to your time manage.py or oh, this will not manage.py migrate dashboard okay so this will migrate the tables for the dashboard here you can see that now we will run the server run server okay so it will it is running now so we will go to the django admin and here you can see that we have a dashboard okay so these are recent actions and these are applications and something and something these are the news coming with the help of feed parser because i have already installed that feed parser so that it is saying the news but if you install uh, if you first time installing then here you will see the error so the package is feed parser okay here i am i'm going to write here so feed parser so you can see you can search on the packages here we have feed parser actually this will be parsed okay so you can install this and it will automatically fetch the news from their uh, official website or from their news uh, uh, news content okay so we have uh, installed the jet and we have installed the jet dashboard so there are lots of things to do that so you can also follow the documentation do your all on self study and learn the things that what uh, it, this package is giving us okay and uh, <clears throat> if you have any query in anything then please add in the comment section so i will try to reply the i will try to solve your query okay so please if you like this video then please share subscribe and uh, share this video as much as you can thanks for watching this video thank you so much